Hello, and welcome to Stories with Symbols. My name is Ryan. Together, we're going to learn all about the weather. So, today, we're going to, one, look at the book. Two, meet a weather expert. Three, learn some words. So, let's look at the book. Today's page is, what's the weather like today? Sunny. Or cloudy. Windy. Or calm. Hot. Or cold. Wet or dry. The weather changes from day to day and from place to place and it affects us all. Weather forecast maps use symbols to tell us about the weather. Shall we look at some different types of weather? Let's start here. Sunny with clear skies. Rainy. The more drops on the symbol, the heavier the rain will be. Where shall we look next? Stormy. Thunderstorms bring heavy rain. And often, pellets of ice, called hailstones. Some hailstones are as big as tennis balls. Last one, snowy. I love the snow. Throwing snowballs. Building snowmen, sledging in the snow, snow falls when it's two degrees Celsius or colder. Weather forecasters predict the weather for the next few days. Information is collected in lots of different ways. Weather balloon, satellite, boy at sea. Experts process the information and decide what's likely to happen next. There are the experts at their computer. I think that's enough for now. We've got more to learn.
Looking at the book is finished. Now it's time to meet a real weather expert. This is the Met Office. People here study weather and the climate. Hello, I'm Ryan. Hi, I'm Rosanna. I'm a weather expert here at the Met Office. So, what is a weather expert? A weather expert studies the weather and the climate. And what is a weather forecaster? A weather forecaster looks at information, then they predict the weather. My book says information comes from satellites, weather balloons and boys at sea. Is that right? Yes, that's right. We also use information from weather stations. And what is a weather station? It's a place outdoors with weather instruments like these. This one sort of looks like a bucket. It's a rain gauge. When it's rainy, water falls into the bucket. Then we measure how much water is inside the bucket. And what is this? This is a wind gauge. When it's windy, it spins. Wow, it's spinning really fast. And do you know what this is? Is it a thermometer? That's right. When it's warm, the temperature goes up. When it's cold, the temperature goes down. Rosanna, can you show me a real weather station? Yes, follow me. Here we are at the weather station. Can you see any of the instruments we talked about? This is a rain gauge. Yes, and this is also a rain gauge. Would you like to look inside? Yes. It's empty. That means there's been no rain. There's the wind gauge. It's moving very slowly. That's because it's not windy today. That's the thermometer. Why is it inside the box? Inside the box, there's no sunlight wind or rain. So the thermometer is protected and correct. So where does all this information go? The information goes into our computers and to our forecasters. Can we go and see? Of course. Come on. These people are forecasters. They are collecting and looking at information. 
then they're predicting the weather for the next few days. Oh yes, I can see the map. So what is the blue area? Blue means rain. Yellow means heavy rain. Red means really heavy rain. And those arrows, is that the wind? Exactly. You know, you'd be a good weather forecaster, Ryan. Imagine. Welcome to my forecast. It's a cloudy day today. Blue means rain. In the north, it's raining. Here is heavy rain. Look at these arrows. They show the wind. So today, it's windy. That was fun. I have loved learning about weather forecasting. Thank you, Rosanna. You're welcome, Ryan. Meeting a weather expert is finished. Now, let's learn some words. Temperature. 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 The temperature of the oven is high. The temperature outside is low. Measure. Measure. A thermometer measures the temperature. Measuring the water. Measuring the girl's height. Map. 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 A map of the world. A map on a phone. Weather map. A globe is a map of the world. Learning words is finished. So now it's time to say goodbye. I had such a fantastic time. I hope you did too. Thank you for watching and see you again next time. Bye.